My name is Dr. Leonard Hess. I'm a senior faculty member of the Dawson Academy, and it's with great pleasure that I'll be returning this in the coming summer months to Poland, and while I'm there, we'll be putting on a course called Treatment Planning the War in Dentition. Treatment Planning the War in Dentition is a great challenge for many restorative dentists. Uh, many times people with extreme or generalized wear of their dentition will present with multiple aesthetic challenges, but also a great number of functional challenges as well. One of the first things that we have to understand about the worn dentition is understanding why did this patient get into the situation that they're in. Uh, the worn dentition can present with multiple factors uh, relating to why this has occurred, such as corrosion, abrasion, uh, centric relation, maximum intercuspation discrepancies. And many patients will have a multiple to, multitude or multiple factors that are influencing why they have gotten to the condition that they are in. From a restorative standpoint, the worn dentition offers many challenges. One of the things that we have to remember is that as teeth wear, and especially as they wear extreme enough to get into dentin, that many times the teeth have started to move and migrate and they have changed positions. This compounds the difficulty in restoring cases and making sure that we're meeting the challenges for the patient, not only aesthetically, but also functionally as well. And so this functional challenge is oftentimes one of the greatest obstacles to long-term success and predictability in treatment planning the worn dentition. Some of these factors that we'll be discussing in this upcoming course this summer is understanding what to do with vertical dimension in a patient that has extreme wear. Also, we'll have time to spend discussing what do we do as far as managing vertical and, and horizontal and sizal edge position of these patients. This is a very important factor to consider, not only for functional success, but also aesthetic success and phonetic success as well. And this also interrelates to the envelope of function for the patient, also to our uh, um, anterior guidance, and also to setting up the generalized occlusion for this patient. So there are many factors that come into play when we discuss restoring the worn dentition. And these are all things that we'll be discussing more when I see you in the coming months in Poland. Thank you very much for your time and I look forward to seeing you all in treatment planning the worn dentition. Thank you.